What's going on guys? Welcome to the first ever video Le Verdict. I'm your host, Christopher Laverdi. Um, today I'm going to review a beer for you guys. What do I have right here? It's good stuff. Um, well, I don't know if it's good yet, but we'll find out. As many of you know me personally, I am a huge fan of the Dogfish Head Brewery in Milton, Delaware. Never been there, but I'm trying to go there this summer actually for a tour. Um, so we have here a beer called Irk Continent. Now I did a little research, you know, I don't know everything about beer, despite how much I like it, but you know. Anyways, what I have here is a, excuse me from reading some notes, a Belgian style double. Now what a double is, for you don't, uh, don't know about that, it's a brown ale. Um, usually categorized with like a slight bitterness to it, not too much. But it's very heavy, chewy kind of beer. Um, and it's got some fruitiness and like cereal characteristics to it. Um, a lot of my research and uh, a lot of my, you know, before trying beers, I usually go to this website. It's called beeradvocate.com. Highly suggest it's a great website. You can type in like any beer or brewery, find a lot of information. It's got all different kind of reviews. It tells you uh, different types of beer, how to drink beer, how to store beer, types of glasses to use. It's just a great website overall. Anyways, getting back to the beer we're trying today. Um, basically, it's a, like I said, a Belgian style double. Um, it has Pilsner, Munich, and chocolate malts in it. And it also has some Belgian dark candy syrup. Now, what makes this beer pretty damn unique is the amount of ingredients in it from all different parts of the world. Um, it starts off with a wattle seed, which is from an acacia tree from Australia. And it's going to add some like coffee, and chocolatey, hazelnutty flavor to the beer. Um, there's also some toasted amaranth, which is a kind of herb. It's from South America. Uh, it's going to give it some earthy and grainy uh, additional like roasted flavors into the beer. Um, we also have green rubus. Rubus? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's from Africa. And it's going to add some floral aroma to the beer. And it's a actually type of legume, kind of like a peanut almost. Um, there's also Mirica Gale, which is from Europe, and it's a type of flowering plant that's going to give the beer uh, a little bit of bitterness. It'll supplement that. And finally, there's a type of honey called Hiveplex Honey, and it's from California. And that's going to add like a little bit of subtle sweetness to the beer. So uh, let's do it. Let's fucking try this beer. All right, where is my bottle opener? That'd be great if I could locate that. Oh, here it is. Here we go. All right, here. I love the Dogfish Head logo. Check it out. It's so cool. Anyways, up, oh, crack it open. Oh, all right. First order of business. Hmm. It's got some nice freaking smell to it. Pretty sweet smelling seems like a little bit of coffee almost scent to it but let's give it a pour got my custom brew crafters glass right here great brewery up in uh, near Geneseo New York went there uh, last year so uh, let's give it a pour alright it's got a nice amber color to it very slight head Form on the top of the beer. Ooh, it smells freaking delicious. Just give it a give it a whirl. Wow, it's a little more uh, toasted than I thought it would be. Um, not a bad thing, but uh, it's nice flavor though. Uh, definitely tastes like the coffee notes, um, the hazelnut. It's uh, it's a little bit on the thick side, you know, like a little chewy, but not too bad. All in all, it's a pretty good, damn good beer. Um, I'm a really big dogfish head fiend. I mean, um, probably my favorite brewery, but I have to say I have had a dogfish head beer. It was 
pretty disgusting in the past. I think I actually reviewed it previously on the verdict. It was the Tahenkit. That shit tasted like rotten fruit. Um, but this, my friends, pretty damn good beer. Highly recommended. Um, go out and buy it. It's about $16 a bottle. A little bit on the more expensive side for a beer, but uh, trust me, definitely worth the money. Um, it's about, let's see, it says about 8%. My research says between 8 and 9 um, Bottle list will probably get you pretty buzzed, if not for the weak, you know, people out there. Two beer queers, it'll get you fucked up. Um, but anyways, I would like to thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to be updating the verdict a little more on a regular basis. Uh, let me know what you think about the video format. I mean, for the most part, I'll definitely be doing beers, video reviews, food, possibility, depending on location, if I can bring it home, much easier to shoot on the webcam like I'm doing right now. But anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Peace.